Hi everyone, I'm Nicolette Jenkins and I'm part of the customer success team here at Performance Livestock Analytics. Um, today we're going to be going over how to run custom invoices. Um, so this might be pretty useful for this time of year. I know a lot of people are kind of trying to close out some groups, um, getting ready for the next um, those next groups. So let's just get started here. Um, if we go down to the on the left side here, um, all the way down to the reports section, and then once that loads, we'll choose, um, we'll go here to that first drop down on the upper left hand corner where it says close out A. Um, so you might see how there are, there's close out A, close out B, invoice A and invoice B. Um, the difference between the A and B reports is just the, the level of detail. Um, so the um, close out A and invoice A, those are gonna be very simple um, reports, not that info, not that much information, um, stuff like that. But the invoice and closeout B will be very detailed. It'll have a lot of information, um, and it'll it'll give you a really good look at um, each group that that you're going through. So, I'm gonna actually start with invoice B, and then let's see here. Um, we'll just go to this this drop down right next to it to the right here it says group 28 um, but I'm gonna choose let's see we'll go for group 34 um, so let's see and then when I click on this drop down here um, you'll see you have your open groups here at the top and then if you go if you scroll down there should be a bunch of uh, closed groups um, you will have the ability to search by owner so if you have an owner um, that you want to do a specific invoice for you can definitely do that as well um, and then there are combined invoices so um, I'm just gonna go over that first so combined invoices when you click that um, it'll kind of bring up this this pop-up window here and it'll give you the choice to pick from um, your groups so whether that's open groups or closed groups <clears throat> and then you'll also have the ability to choose um, kind of over on the right side of that page um, different details so there's head received head shipped death loss and feed ingredient detail um, so I'm just gonna choose every single one of those just so you guys can see the difference between them and, and what they actually show on the report. Um, so I'll choose a few groups here. And then you can also choose select all. If, if you do have a lot of groups and you don't wanna go through and click all those, you can select all as well. Um, but I will show you later how you can make an invoice for the entire feedlot. So um, don't think that you have to you know select all every single time um, but I'll scroll down here and click run invoice and so you'll always want to double check that the dates here on the top of the invoice are correct so really whatever dates you want to go for just um, click on that drop down box and that'll open up a, a calendar for you um, so I'm gonna choose September 1st to to today um, let's see and then I'm gonna click run invoice one more time okay so at the top of this invoice it has feed yard name um, invoice period which is really important um, and then the amount due right at the top and um, then it also show the group ID so you have whatever groups that you selected um, and then it does show what pens that cattle is in right now or in this um, invoice period. Um, so if I scroll down here, um, first thing you'll see, received head. Um, so that's gonna be your head received detail. Um, it'll show you every time that you've added cattle into the system, um, their in weight, um, their cost, um, everything like that. And then it'll give you an average as well per head right here and then scrolling down again um, this shipped head that's going to be your head shipped um, detail so it'll show all the cattle that you have um, 
shipped out or sold out. Um, so again, it'll have your outweight, your cattle sales, um, and it will have the average per head again there. Um, and then let's see, the death loss. Um, this is gonna show any cattle that you have reported as um, a death. So right here you can see we have a death loss total of three. Um, and then, but in the invoice period, we have a death loss total of one. Um, so you might notice this in your invoice as well. So it'll have like a current total, which means two today, or it'll have a um, invoice period total. So that'll be for the invoice period, not for um, the total through today. And then this is at the bottom, this is that feeding summary. Um, so it really breaks down. You can see a feeding summary here, um, and then it'll, it'll give you just all of those, that good information there. Um, you know, total, total amount, total pounds fed and average pounds fed. Um, and again, like I mentioned, it'll say current invoice period versus total through today's date. So that's really important to remember um, as you're going through these. I know um, it, it's kind of daunting with, with all this information here, but um, that really will help if you can see the difference between current invoice period and total through today. Um, and then again, just kind of building off of that feeding summary, you have this feed breakdown here. Um, so it'll give you all the ingredients that you have fed in the, in the feeding um, or the invoice period. Um, and then it'll, it'll give the as fed amount. Um, and then it'll kind of break it down by cost, um, dry matter, everything like that. And then down towards the bottom here, that's gonna be um, just your, your total feed expenses. Um, so let's see here. And it'll list out every single um, expense as, um, as you see it. So added costs, feed costs, yardage, um, anything that you would associate to a group of cattle, that would be listed here. Um, and then you do still have your total expenses at the bottom and then your total amount due. So kind of moving on from that, I kind of mentioned how I was gonna show you guys how you can do a whole farm invoice. Um, so I'm going back to this drop down here next to invoice B, clicking on that, and instead of going to combined invoice, I'm gonna to go to whole farm. So let's see if that goes, okay. Perfect. Um, and see, this one is a lot longer. Look at that. So this is going to show every single group that you have on feed right now or during this feeding um, invoice period, excuse me. Um, so it'll show everything that I had just kind of went over, um, but it'll just keep going for each group. So you'll have um, you should have the group name somewhere here. Let's see. Yep, group name at the very top right corner. So um, that's how you would do a, f a whole farm invoice. Um, if you want to edit the invoice for any reason, um, say if, you know, you have certain things that you do not want to include on the invoice um, that um, you don't charge for or something like that, you can always go to this green print button on the right corner. And then so this will bring up a uh, print preview that is within Performance Beef still. So any, I know, let's see, any option here, like these headings that I have um, on the left side, if you click that, it will gray out. And so anything that is grayed out will not show up when you print this. Um, so really whatever you wanna take out, um, if you wanna take out like the feed yard name or anything like that, you can do so. Um, and I know a lot of people will add to, like if you were to do a um, owner invoice, like an invoice by owner, you might have another option here that says owner. Um, up at the top that you can actually edit. So if I wanted to do, um, if I wanted to edit this and say, 
where the invoice is going. You could say group eight, tw group 28, um, Ames, Iowa, or the address to the owner. Um, really whatever you wanna add, add into those boxes, you can just type into those boxes. Um, and then that should, that should work for you. Um, and then with a whole farm invoice, um, if you do ever want to split um, the groups per page, like have um, print out everything that you want in your feed yard, but you want each group to be on its own page, um, you'll actually go up here um, and click this no page break drop down and then select between groups. So that will actually break up the groups. Um, so if you do need to hand out a certain group to someone else or um, you have um, certain records for other groups, you can keep those together. And then if I go ahead and click the print button one more time, this is what brings up my actual um, printer preview. So for your actual printer device, um, this is the preview that you would see. Um, so I know we've we've gotten a lot of questions about if the reports um, export to Excel or as a PDF or um, anything like that to alter yourself, um, which they do not. They don't export um, into Excel, but what you can do is if you go here to destination um, and then you click this drop down here that has your, your printer name, you can click save as PDF and then that'll convert it to a PDF that you can save to your computer. And if you need to email it out to anyone for any reason, you can just pop that into an email um, and send it out. So it's really easy. Um, as well as um, you can save it to your Google Drive as well. I don't know if any of you guys use Google um, to save any documents or anything like that, but you can definitely save that to your Google Drive. Um, and then, let's see. I think that's really all I wanted to go over for now um, but if you guys have any questions on what I went over or um, any topics that you want to see feel free to give us a call or email or um, tweet at us um, you can comment below on this on this video really anything um, just kind of get the word out to us and we're definitely happy to go o over anything that you guys want um, so Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and stay tuned to next time. Thank you.